So from the standpoint of uh, engineering calculations, we are more interested in overall average conditions, right? So various empirical equations are available for determining the the heat transfer uh, convection heat transfer coefficient for uh, cylindrical surfaces. However, for this uh, specific topic, we will only tackle one color correlation. Okay, an empirical correlation uh, widely used is uh, for PR greater than or equal to 0 0.7 due to Hilpert. Okay, as expressed as expressed as NU average D is equal to H average D K or also equal to C R E D M P R one third. Okay, so where C, D C N M with characteristic length D, characteristic length D, and constants obtained in uh, uh, um, given table. So I will give a table regarding this. Note that all the properties are evaluated at the film temperature. What is film temperature again? Diba? The average of your uh, fluid temperature and the temperature of your surface. Okay. So using this helper, uh, Hilpert equation, uh, we need to um, remember these values. So we have the Reynolds number D, 0 0.4 to 4. Our uh, constant C is 0 0.989. And our constant M is 0 0.330. If our uh, Reynolds number is 4 to 40, then our C is 0 0.911 and 0 0.385. Our M is 0 0.385. Okay. And while if we have 40 to 4000, we have 0 0.6832. 0 0.466 while if we have 4000 to 40000 we have 0 0.193 and 0 0.618 and if we have 40000 up to 400000 then the value of c is 0 0.027 and the value of m is 0 0.805 okay so you need to um uh uh, to um, uh, what they call this, to um, uh, take note this um, table because we will be needing this in the different um, constants for Hilpert equation, okay? For this one, okay. So another is that the constants for Hilpert equation for um, Non-circular cylinders, for non-circular cylinders, so that this is for uh, circular cylinders. If we have a non-circular cylinders, then uh, we can have this uh, table instead. Our RE, our C, and our, oops. and our M, okay? If we have a um, um, square, actually, that is a square, <laughs> square, and we have V going through this direction. Our uh, D characteristic length will be this much. Okay, and if we have a uh, uh, square that uh, looks like this and the uh, uh, velocity will, um, uh, I mean the flow will from here, then our characteristic length is 
this much okay and if we have a um, if we ha uh, cylindrical that is a uh, non circular but hexagonal type say we have this shape our characteristic length is from here to here okay if we have a v from here okay while if we have the um, uh, geometry that looks like this hexagonal hexagonal cylinder okay then our characteristic length is from here to here the value of our d or characteristic length if we have a thin plate perpendicular to the flow say um, we have this thin plate we have our v the characteristic length is from here to here okay uh, thin plate perpendicular to the flow front back okay okay so the value of our uh, reynolds number if we have this uh geometries the uh, square um cylinders is we have six thousand to sixty thousand if we have this kind of um, situation we have i mean five thousand this is five is five five thousand to sixty thousand if you have this uh, kind of situation then we have a five two to twenty thousand or twenty thousand four hundred to one hundred five and if we have this uh, geometry then we have four five to ninety seven hundred and if we have this um, uh, type of uh, thin plate perpendicular to the flow then from front we have ten thousand to fifty thousand and at the back we have seven thousand to eighty thousand okay so the value of C of those geometries we have 0 0.304 0 0.158 0 0.164 0 0.039 0 0.150 this is 5 0 0.667 0 0.191 and for our m 0 0.59 0 0.66 0 0.638 0 0.78 0 0.638 what else um, 0 0.500 0 0.667 okay so that is for the um, um, constant of Hilpert equation for non-circular cylinders okay uh, this is uh, for the uh, I mean this is for the um, cross flow of a gas okay and it is from the um, Incropera, Dewitt, Belgarm, and Levine Introduction to Heat Transfer, year 2007. So I got this data from that textbook, Introduction to Heat Transfer. Okay. And for uh, lastly, let me um, uh, uh, mention it here. Okay. So for the spear uh, surfaces, we have a uh, numerous heat transfer correlations for here for the sphere that we can found actually on different textbooks and we uh, what we need is to take a note for the temperatures in which the property has to be evaluated and apply it okay so that's all for this um, enter topic of the um, external flow force convection so on our next video we are gonna have some um, sample problem regarding these things okay so see you on our next video